And Street Mike is here to record the new history as it's unfolding in front of our eyes. Good afternoon, Mom. How does it feel to be out here in Brixton on this exciting day? Liberating. It feels like a lot of love, passion and energy. My ancestors' contribution to building up the global north under the system of global white supremacy is priceless. You could never compensate me for that. years we've been in bondage and slavery our labor has been taken our lives have been taken our resources have been taken to build up this great Britain uh, and whilst the slave owners have been paid their compensation we're still waiting for our 40 acres on a mule back to Africa back to Ethiopia back to his imperial majesty land First power. First power. coming together. That's what we need. That's what's going to bring us together. That's what's going to make us unite and be strong. That's what we need. Yeah. And it's important that, you know, we engage. And listen, we have, um, we're peaceful. We have to refight to restore our nation, our sovereignty, our peoplehood. It is liberty or death. And we really have to get to grips. I knew about this from my professor. She was talking about it on Facebook the other day. And I come from around here. So we ain't got carnival, so I want to hear some reggae music, I want to hear some talking and yeah. Are you ready to rebel? These images themselves speak for themselves. If you study, this is the first slave ship which went over to West Africa. It was under the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. This is Ground in Zimbabwe, right here, Windrush Square, Winnock here. Totally enjoy my day. It's great to come out to listen to a bit of reggae after sort of, you know, the lockdown and so on. And then for me, because I'm not from the London area, Brixton area, so I live in the rural countryside, so to come out and just sort of feel the vibes of it all is brilliant. Black economy, we say, buy black putty back each and every time. Black economy is power, organised, centralised with consciousness. Good afternoon all, yeah. Wendell Daniel from Street yeah. Mike coming Every to you live and direct yeah. from Windrush Square in Brixton. Mr. Photographer, let me interview you. In your opinion, what makes a good photograph? The subject of the picture and their emotion and their vibe and the words. They say pictures say a thousand words, so the words that they communicate through their pose. I think that makes a good picture. Every time there is an event challenging the historic dishonesty of enslavement of African people, every time I have breath in my body and the ability to get up and go there, I will be there. But this particular event has been one that we have helped to sustain for all the years that it's been going. We were at the first one, we have never missed one. I'm talking about my organization and uh, uh, so on. We've never missed one, we're always here and we'll always be here. It's a pity, I think, that we have decided not to march, but the decisions have been made. I respect their right to make that decision. Um, but it is a great pity that we're not marching down the road to Parliament. Are you, 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 are you,
Go tell them brother, come jump, come play, don't play, pan the mic. We want repatriation now. We want repatriation quick. What is your name? My name is Lee Jasper. Are you famous? No, <laughs> infamous. <laughs> Did you used to work with the Mayor of London? Yeah, former Deputy Mayor of London, 2000 to 2008. Tell me something, Lee. I've known you as being an avid campaigner for about 40 years. Tell me about what's going down here in Brixton and why it's important for you to be here. I'm here every year. It's the African Emancipation Day uh, March. So I come along every year. It's really to support the demand for reparation. Cause we not end up in a Babylon pit. We want some reparation quick. Good morning. What's it like for you to be getting ready for this big event today? It's, it's really quite exciting. Um, it's daring. It's, it's a bit challenging as well. But the vibes, the vibes is already there. And we've got look around. We've got people coming and... You know, it's, I know it's going to be a beautiful day today. Trouble is that you are young, I you are old. You're through the gate and let the good time roll. We've got a business which is Chirps Ice Cream. Chirps! Uh -huh. So I can chirps you today, yeah? Well, it's been done already. I've been done already. Jamana book on country in a full control. I yes, I re was somewhere, Jan, Jan, no way, but they go. We want! We give thanks to our ancestors them and our rise the vibration for our ancestors them in our afterlife can really rise and help it towards the way I go through to this perilous time and to this perilous moment and time and energy, you know. Repatriation now. Repatriation quick. Um, it's important to support um, world causes, our cause, and we belong to um, a group BDK, Bundudia Congo, and we're here to represent a particular group. And it's important that, you know, we engage. Listen, we have, um, we're peaceful, we have social distancing, yes. and it's very important that we all come together. That's give that. give thanks. With that. All the time. <laughs> Did you like that one, sir? Wonderful, man. Guys, it's our brother. How important is it for you to see black officers down at this event today? Well, it's important to see them in our position, but it's more important if they can maintain the purpose. And what do you mean by? maintaining the purpose because those who are watching may not understand what you're referring to. It's by knowing our history, knowing where we are coming from, knowing what our parents contribute to this society. And if we know that, then we can in good harmony. We want repatriation quick. I've been requesting my like my professor Ariwa family, my like Joe Ariwa, Sister Allison, all of the crew, all of the soul man then. Emancipation Rockers. But it is first and foremost Emancipation Day to stop the manganese. So that's why I'm here. How important is this event? It's important. I'd like to see a few more children here. Because people my age already know, but the children need to come and enjoy the visuals. Mm -hmm. And they can have a conversation, we can have a conversation. That's important because it's the one place you can be yourself. Oh, murder! Baby. Live and direct in a brick style town as I will tell you. Tell it to your favorite, favorite, favorite. Oh, good job! So what they want is to teach people about where they come from and what the traditions are and who they are. So how important is it for you? to be down here today? It's vitally important, it's critical. Um, it's just about life for us and our future. So it's really important that we show our solidarity and reclaim us. Black is for colour and black is for many. Way down south. Well, Brixton, this, this is the, the, the annual of the reparation, emancipation. 
and repatriation. And it's so important that we decide that we're not going to go over to Trafalgar Square today. Yeah, we're going to do it here in the Windrush Square. Yeah, prosperity and wisdom. I people used to say as I was teaching to your baby. Let me be a Tell me about this beautiful natural outfit you're wearing today. Well, it's a um, traditional African style attire. Um, I actually got this one made um, over here. Mm -hmm. I, in, in fact, it was made from an original suit that I had for many, many years. Arriwa sound system. He was taken back to Jamaica. I mean, as a hundred percent, you can imagine. We haven't even been able to accomplish today what he did over a hundred years ago. My shit in a bricks and stones, I will tell it to you, baby. I've been in this one that I travel from Liverpool down. So you've come specially? Yeah, yeah. What motivated you to come from Liverpool specially to win Rush Square? Because of the Black Lives Matter, because of emancipation, because of our people. <laughs> about this book you was just discussing with the lady about justice delayed Ken Jones? Well, the book is really about Marcus Garvey and Marcus Garvey, you know, it's Messiah month, it's August Messiah month and what Marcus Garvey has done by his life is shown us an example that we haven't ever been able to remedy even to today. That's over a hundred years ago he was able to unite two to six million people. It is a shoe that is the owner of the crossroads, the original that opens the way. A shoe the policeman of his farm, enforcing the law of being. The one we call train man, who takes prayers from Aye, the world, to Olorun, heaven, to Olodumare. The one the Orishas must go through first, as it is you, Eshu, who is the prime negotiator. to be. We have to be here. My ancestors' contribution to building up the global north under the system of global white supremacy is priceless. You could never compensate me for that. We have to dismantle the system. That is what reparations mean. It doesn't mean being more comfortable under the system. We have to refight to restore our nation, our sovereignty, our peoplehood. 
it is liberty or death. And we really have to get to grips with the struggle and the fight ahead of us. One day I'll make it. When the Venom from Street Mike coming to you live and direct from Windrush Square in Brixton, where in a few minutes' time, the crowd will fall silent in memory of all of our ancestors. So we're now approaching that time. That was three minutes silence has just ended. And this is Wendell Denner from Street Mike coming to you live and direct from the reparation rally down here in Windrush Square in Brixton, where thousands of people are remembering the ancestors the from years ago. We feel it, I don't know it. But we have to evoke the courage of our ancestors. We have to make that sacrifice. We have to build up power. And we have to put pressure. Because power concedes nothing without a demand. Are you ready to rebel? As Brother Leo says, we need to make our way behind the truck with the Stop the Mahandamizi banner on it. And we shall make our way very slowly, very disruptively up to Max Roach Park. And this is a season, a new day has done, and it's a breaking of the day. It's about time. Today is a new beginning. Yeah. We must unite as, yeah. as black people, and this time commit to each other and make a difference. For us, back to Africa, back to Ethiopia, back to his imperial majesty land. That's where I am. That's where I'm going. I'm going to Sheshamani land. I'm going to build up my foundation in Ethiopia. I'm going to connect with Ethiopia. A revolution, a me have me solution, Africa. Watch me, Aunu Baris. Iman, good afternoon, and thank you for speaking with Street Mike. You're down here today in Windrush Square. How are you feeling when you see what's going on around us? I think it's beautiful. It's sheer unity, empowerment, black empowerment and growth. And we're all here for the same objective. So it's a really beautiful thing to be a part of it, to witness it, to be a part of the momentum and keeping it going. Um, it makes me very happy. When it says it makes you feel happy, please describe that feeling when you were going down the road there on top of the vehicle, you saw our brothers and sisters on bikes, marching, so many people. How did that make you feel as you sat on the truck looking at it? Grateful. I'm going to get emotional. Grateful. Because we've gone through so much as a nation of people, I'm going to get emotional. So it's just so nice to see everyone try to fight for something and to unite and fight. So I was grateful, moved, inspired, motivated, happy, full of love. If you like Street Mike, give me the thumbs up. Make your comments down below. Give me the thumbs up and share. Big out the Street Mike! Oh my word, that is brilliant. I love it. I love it.
Street Fighter.